My Catholic Family, Don Bosco. Well, everyone, as you know, this is a Salesian school, which means that it follows the spirituality of St. John Bosco. Alex, I was just thinking that you could do a presentation on the life of St. John Bosco for his feast day. Me? But I... That's what you get for being top of the class, you know? Yeah, very funny. Hey, look what I've got! The Fantastic Girls album! Isn't it great? Yes! It's the best! I'm saving to buy one! What are you waiting for? For my granddad to give me my allowance on Saturday! I can't wait! It's not fair! Just because I got good grades, I have to do a project about St. John Bosco! Well, I can help you if you want! I know where we can find lots of information! At the Salesian Youth Center! Is that where you go on Fridays? Yeah, it's so much fun! What do you do there? Well, for example, this afternoon we have a talk with Father Michael, a meal, and a funny movie, too. A funny movie? Yeah! Do you want to come? Okay. There are so many books! I think this is the one that you need. The Life of St. John Bosco. Yes, I think that's what I'm looking for. Hello, Sergio. Who's your friend? His name's Alex. It's the first time he's come here. Hello, Alex. Hello. Alex was really impressed with all the books. Well, St. John Bosco thought reading was very important. He always said, spread good books. Only in heaven will you realize the great good that comes from reading. I really like reading. That's great. Did you know that St. John Bosco wrote many simple educational books? Can I borrow some of them? As many as you want. Well, everyone, as you know, it will be St. John Bosco's feast day very soon. So I'm going to use today's class to tell you just a little bit about his life. Great! Yes, Alex. Maybe this will help you with your presentation. He was born Giovanni Melchior Bosco in Becchi, a small town near Turin in Italy, at the beginning of the 19th century. His family was very poor. His father died and his mother had to work very hard to feed John and his two brothers. John prayed a lot from a young age and when he turned 16, he decided to study to become a priest. But, as he didn't have any money, he asked his neighbors for help. The people of Becky loved John and his family so much that they all got together to help him. Here, I want you to have my jacket. And I bought this hat for you. Thanks, Mr. Mayor. Here, this coat is your size. Oh, thank you so much. We don't want you getting a cold, John. Or going round barefoot. I don't know what to say. Thank you so much, all of you. We only ask one thing of you. Ask anything, Father. That you become a good priest. I'll try as hard as I can. I'm sure you will, my son. I'm sure you will. John entered the seminary in Turin, and after a few years, he was ordained a priest. Father, I want to be a missionary. I see you've already packed your suitcase. I want to join the foreign missions. However, I don't think that this is what God is asking of you. Unpack that suitcase of yours and work with the abandoned children of Turin. This is what God wants you to do. And so he did. He stayed in Turin and began his apostolate to the poorest children. What does apostolate mean? It means bringing people closer to God. That's why they called St. John Bosco the Apostle of the Young. Well, I'll tell you more about St. John Bosco tomorrow. Hey, Sergio, I challenge you to a game of basketball. Okay. One-on-one. -on -one. I'll wipe the floor with you. We'll see about that.
Hey, that was a double dribble. Be quiet. Now you're traveling. Yeah, I win. But you cheated. Oh, yeah? And what are you going to do about it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you big bully. That's not a Christian attitude. <laughs> oh, did you hear the altar boy? What are you going to do? You going to go squeal to your pal, Father Michael? Don't you bring Father Michael into this, or... Or what? Don't you dare threaten me, shrimp. <laughs> We have to teach Martin a lesson. Yes, we have to make him look stupid in front of his friends. Hmm. Got it. I know what we can do. Let's hear it. We fill up some water balloons and throw them at him out of the window. All right. We'll do it on St. John Bosco's feast day, when he's wearing his best Sunday suit. Yes! him a lesson. You know, Dad, I'm learning so much from St. John Bosco. That's wonderful. He was a great saint. Did you know that God often spoke to him through his dreams? He did? He had the first of these dreams when he was nine. That dream was to change his life. He dreamt that he was watching a fight. The two boys were cursing, and John tried to separate them. But when his attempts failed, he tried to end the fight with his fists. <sighs> Does anybody else want a punch? Then, Jesus appeared to him. No, John. You must win them over with kindness and love. The Virgin Mary will show you. Take your shepherd's crook and guide your flock. When the Virgin Mary said these words, the children were transformed, first into wild animals, and then into sheep. And it was those words, not with blows, but with kindness, must you win over these boys, became the basis of Salesian spirituality. Oh, wow. What is it? Nothing. I was just thinking that maybe getting revenge isn't the right answer. The right answer to what? Well, it's something I was talking to Sergio about today. St. John Bosco said that you achieve much more with kind words than with brute force. Well, you beat me this semester. You failed four classes. How'd you do? Well, I only failed three. You want to see a real work of art? Ta-da! I failed them all! You did what? Let me see. I failed everything. That's so cool! Yeah, right. I'm the black sheep of the school. You can say that again. You're a real champion. Look, it's the Fantastic Girls album. Excuse me, can I reserve one of those albums for Saturday? Please. I don't know. They're selling like hotcakes. I don't have the money right now, but I'll have it on Saturday. I'll keep it for you till Saturday. But if you don't buy it, I'll have to put it back on sale again. Thank you. Hey, 
Katie, you didn't wash your hands before your meal. Of course not. Why should I? My mom says you should always wash your hands. Oh, yeah? What else does your mommy say? Oh, that's disgusting. Hello, Martin. Uh, hello. You should really try to learn some table manners. Oh, yeah? Why? What are you gonna do? You gonna beat me or something? Is that what you think of me? Do you think that I would beat my friends? What, so I'm your friend? If you made more of an effort, you could get much better grades. Hadn't you heard? I'm a black sheep. That's because you want to be, but you have the ability to do whatever you want. I know. Who knows, someday you might have to eat with important politicians or top business people. Is that some kind of joke? Look at me. Do I look as if I'm joking? You could go a long way in life. Think about it. Hear that? Martin, a businessman? <laughs> <laughs> Be quiet. Come on, you didn't believe all that stuff, did you? No one ever told me that I could be someone. You know, I was thinking about what Father Michael said to Martin. I was thinking about it, too. That's just what St. John Bosco did. He decided he could do more with kind words than with force. Look, it's right here. I don't remember ever punishing anyone. Through God's grace, I have always been able to get the children to follow the rules. Right. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You mean about the water balloons? Yes. Maybe getting Martin back isn't such a good idea. Yeah, but it was a great plan. I know, but St. John Bosco wouldn't do that. I think he would try and help Martin. Yeah, okay. You win. Are you coming to the Salesian Youth Center this afternoon? Yes, I am. St. John Bosco opened a home in a neighborhood called Valdoco in Turin, called the Oratory of St. Francis de Sales. He took in children who had been abandoned, helped them learn new skills, and taught them catechism. In time, the number of oratories grew. The idea was to bring young people closer to God through kind words and an example of cheerfulness. In the oratories, there were workshops where boys could learn a trade. A Salesian should be a friend to everyone, should never seek revenge, and should always be quick to forgive. Look, it's the priest who's always so cheerful. Yes, he's the one who tells such great stories. How's the work coming on, boys? It's going fine. Look, Father. That's great. It's a real work of art. You think so? Of course. You know, Father Alberto, you should take a good look at these two. Because someday, they'll be the most famous carpenters in Turin. St. John Bosco was always smiling. He was never in a bad mood. And he gave such good advice that he changed people's lives. Martin, I feel very disappointed. Mom, don't say that. Don't say that? You failed every single class. Where are you going to end up? You're on a bad path that's going the wrong way. Huh? huh? Oh. W what do you two want? Nothing. We thought maybe we could help. I don't need your help. Since my dad died, I've been a failure, and I always will be. Well, you're wrong. Or have you forgotten what Father Michael told you? Of course not. I've been thinking about it all day. Come on, then. Stop crying and do something about it. What, you mean study? Sure. Forget it. I can't do that. We'll help you. Right, we can show you how to study. You could come with us to the Silesian Youth Center. What's that? It's a place where you can study and have a great time. Come on. Next Sunday, we're collecting money for the poor of this parish. St. John Bosco often spoke about the need to give to the poor. We must give alms. 
It is our obligation as Catholics. The people who are most in need are our brothers and sisters, but we should not only give what we have too much of, our leftovers. We have to give more than just leftovers. If what we give to others costs us nothing, we're not giving, but just deceiving ourselves. Charity should make the person who is giving poorer in some way. The point of giving money is to make us a little poor, to offer this little sacrifice to our brothers and sisters who are most in need. down to the Salesian Youth Center. Are you going to become a priest? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start studying. You serious? I'm going to change from now on. Ah, oh, come on. And you two should do the same if you don't want to be total losers. Losers? What happened to our old buddy Martin? Right, you used to be the black sheep, remember? The old Martin was a failure, and now I'm ready to change my ways. Well, I'm not changing a thing. Or me. Well, I'll just visit you in jail. Oh! Sorry, that was an accident. That's okay. I don't think it's serious. You want me to call the school doctor? Thanks, but I think I can get up. Martin, I'm very proud of you. That's the true Salesian spirit. Congratulations for being such a good friend. Hey, do you know where I can go to confession? Of course, Father Michael hears confession every day before Mass. I'll go this afternoon. Hold on, hold on. Are you going to tell Father Michael all your business? Well, it's not really Father Michael. Oh, no? Is it another priest? No, in the Salesian Youth Center, they explain that even if we see Father Michael, it's really Jesus who forgives our sins. Yeah, through Father Michael's words. I want to start a new life from today. St. John Bosco was right. You can do more with kind words than you can with force. Yes, it's incredible that Martin and his friends are going to confession. It's Saturday. Today's the day. I know. My granddad gave me some money to buy candy. Come on, then. Let's go to the newspaper stand to buy the album. No. What? I've decided to learn from St. John Bosco and put all my money in the collection box at Mass. Are you crazy? Maybe I am crazy, but I'm happy. The money will go to the poor. Father Michael, how did St. John Bosco die? St. John Bosco was declared a saint by Pope Pius XI on the 1st of April, 1934 only 44 years after his death in 1888. He was given the title Father and Teacher of Youth by Pope John Paul II. Spread devotion to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and to Mary help of Christians and you will witness true miracles. Help poor children. The sick, the old, and those who are most in need and you will receive enormous blessings and help from God. I await you in paradise. You know, Mom, I'm really happy that I gave all my money to the poor. I'm very proud of you. Look, Jesus said to the rich young man, Sell your possessions, give the money to the poor, and you will have a treasure in heaven. He didn't do it, and he was sad, but you've done it. That's why you're happy. You've been very generous. 
40,000 people filed past the body of St. John Bosco laid out in church. 40,000 people! St. John Bosco was a great saint. There are many streets, parks, theaters, and museums named after him. And lots of schools. Yes, the Salesian family is one of the largest Catholic groups in the world, and it's present in 128 countries. Ooh. Wow.